recommendation system. So in this section, we're going to have a look at what is a recommendation system and what are the different types of recommender system. So collaborative filtering is the first one. Uh, in this approach, um, we look at the similarity between user to recommend something to a specific user. Item-based filtering is the second one. So it's more about the similarity of the items rather than the similarity of the users. And finally, we have the hybrid system, which is a combination of the two. So hybrid system equals collaborative filtering and item-based filtering. So first, let's see what are recommendation systems. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is a recommender system, where are they used, and the main types of recommender system, and how do they differ. So if we go on Wikipedia and if we find the definition, we're going to see a recommendation system is a subclass of information filtering system okay, that seeks to predict the rating or preference that a user will give to an item. So from this definition, we understand that this is a system, so this is an algorithm, and the, the goal of this algorithm is to find a rating or something that a user like. So for example, uh, on Amazon, we have uh, the recommendation for today. So in my case, that was the principle of data mining, Python in a nutshell, and introductory statistics and so on. So where do we find recommendation system? So basically it's everywhere. If you go on the internet, any website, any big website, you're going to see it, it's eBay, Twitter, um, IMDB, um, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, and so on and so on and so on. The list is very long. So first, we're going to see the collaborative filtering. So collaborative filtering is basically, I'm a user and I bought some items. And what the recommendation system will do is it will match me with similar user based on what the other user bought they're going to recommend roughly what my similar users bought so this is collaborative filtering so item based filtering is a bit different so let's say i bought a can of duff and what the item based filtering algorithm will do is that okay because i bought this can of duff i'm going to recommend some similar items so this is just based on me so because I bought this can, they're going to recommend me this similar item. So for example, here is a t-shirt of Duff. And now the system recommends me this t-shirt. So what's the difference between user base versus item base? So in user base, in collaborative filtering on the left, everything is based on similar user. So the algorithm will try to find similar users. When I say similar user, it's like, for example, we have similar taste and it's likely that in the future, our taste will not divert that much. So that's basically collaborative filtering. So in this thing, we just define a similarity measure. So for example, we read the same documents. So at the top left, read by both user. So we know that the users they read exactly the same, I mean, roughly the same documents that are quite similar. So if she read this document on the bottom left, so this blue document, and he didn't, we can say because they are similar, he will probably like it. That's collaborative filtering. So the content-based filtering is a bit different. So like I was saying before, it's only based on the current user. So the user read some documents in red, so on the right. And then we know that from those documents, similar articles are available. For example, if the guy likes to read article from Reuters, uh, we have a similar article. So let's say he's reading article about finance of Reuters. So maybe we're going to uh, give him some similar article about this financial domain still from Reuters. And then we're going to recommend those articles to the user. So finally, we have hybrid system. So hybrid system is just, we have two inputs. So inputs is the user and the other input is the items. Similarities, so user similarities, item similarities, and then it, it will go through a collaborative filtering filter, content-based filter, and then we're going to combine them and we're going to make our recommendation. 